started out as a volunteer. That's how I got involved. I wasn't sure what Habitat for Humanity really did. I caught what we call habititis, where you just can't stop coming back. When all is said and done, Habitat will build about 100 houses and repair 100 houses in this community. The neighborhood is about four square blocks in the middle of Long Beach, but it's the part of Long Beach that's sort of been left behind in the whole redevelopment. My family didn't have a whole lot, and as someone who grew up actually getting evicted, my memories are, as a kid are like waking up in my dad's Tacoma and like both of my parents are like digging through a recycling bin or, or a garbage can getting recyclables. So to me, you know, going from house to house and then now seeing how, I, how I'm able to impact families, I can see how that would have helped me. You know, that would have been the difference between me going to college and not going to college. My mom being able to spend time with me versus them having to work two, three jobs, you know. What we are at Habitat is, is a solution to a lot of these things, right? Because as families come into these houses, they build equity, they come into this home, they're really setting themselves up for a better future, not just for them, but for their kids and potentially their kids' kids. So it's an intergenerational impact we're really making. The gap of how many people need a decent, affordable place to live is just growing. It helps level out the playing field. Like the future of this nation does rely on our youth. But, uh, that's, that's only, um... I've been with Habitat for almost 10 years. I tell myself I'm a lifer here because I, I used to build for myself. I, I flip houses and everything. It's just not the same. The volunteers are, we call them rusties. They just create that culture where at the end of the day, when can I come back? Can I come back tomorrow? It's, you know, it's, it's something that it, it, to this day, it amazes me. But it's that rewarding feeling that we get, like we help the family. Sometimes we don't think about it, but even like finding street parking, you know, there's neighborhoods where they're, yeah, it's, it could either be unsafe or just like so stressful. And now they have a two car garage where they can, you know, pull in with their groceries and there's a door that goes right to their kitchen. All these things are, you know, the, the little things that they eventually are gonna help them be safer, healthier. You know, you really start to define what community really means. To me, I think it's about letting people know that they are worth you know, pretty much whatever they, they want to be worth, and they're able to give back. You know, you don't have to have a lot to give a little back. Not everyone wants to be in construction, I understand that. But that doesn't mean that you can't pick up a hammer and throw in a couple nails, you know, and, and, and help build a home for, for someone who needs it. Just warn him, he might catch habititis, you know, he may, he may keep coming, coming back more and more. Thank you. <laughs>